Hey guys, this is Project StarCraft coming at you with a cast between a buddy of mine and a player on the North American ladder. Let's do our introductions first, spotting in the top right position. We've got our superhero, our Zerg, spotting in the red trunks. We've got Crimson Shade. And spotting in the bottom right of Star Station, we have our enemy in the blue trunks. His name is Volta. Now, I was at a StarCraft land this weekend. StarCraft land, you say? There's no land in StarCraft. But a bunch of fellows can still hook up their computers over a local area network, connect to Battle.net, and utilize the internet to play games with each other. And that's what I was able to do with our southeastern Oklahoma land group, Friday Night Land, which is awesome. Shout out to those guys. They put on a good show. Uh, we were able to get about 14 people playing with some crew that I know, some crew that I know just a little bit, and some crew that I have absolutely no idea who they are. And with some of the content that I have, we're actually going to be uh, playing some of the content, kind of going over some of the games that we went. So that's what's going to happen this week. Yay! So Crimson Shay, he's my boy. Um, we've seen, or you know, we've seen from him before. Uh, played some games with him, um, and he played this game on the North American ladder. And he said, "Steven, something really weird, really interesting happens in this game." So we're going to watch this replay and kind of cast it and kind of see what it goes on. Uh, just kind of as a spoiler alert, uh, both these players are about silver level rank, so you won't see some super high you know, level play in here. We might tease or poke a little fun at the players, but again, the fact that you know they're just doing something a little different is always really exciting and really neat to look at. So as we get early into this game, we can see that you know both players really aren't doing anything too out of the ordinary. Um, we see Volta might be, eh, he's actually, you know built a supply depot and built his barracks in a reasonable time. I think that Crimson Shade went for a 14 pool and it looks like he's gearing up for a 16 hatch. So at least at this level these players have a pretty good starting point. Now Volta is doing something a little bit out of the ordinary and getting a second uh, barracks even before orbital command. So he really wants to make sure that he has a lot of marines out before so that no kind of long-term damage can actually happen. So had a lot of fun in land this weekend. We actually played a 1v1 tournament. It was actually real managed, and I'm, I might cast some of those games. I actually have some of my replay, and guys, at a local land, there's no map pool. I mean, it's just best of three, have fun. So we saw games from, uh, we saw games on Scrap Station. We saw games on Zonaga Caverns. That double extractor cancel, right? Am I right? We saw two. Um, we saw games on Zonaga Caverns on Steps at War. It was just, it was a, it was a massacre. But don't be that guy that has to install uh, that has to install Heart of the Swarm at the land. There's just no way to look cool when you do that. So Crimson Shade sending in a sacrificial overlord. Apparently this is something that he consistently does, at least that's what I'm told. So Volta getting the early lead and being able to shut down any kind of shenanigans from our boy Crimson Shade. So it's going to supply block our boy just a little bit, but with some uh, reinforcing overlords, we're going to see it coming in. Uh, looking from Crimson Shade's point of view, he's just powering some drones. He's really not doing uh, any other kind of sh uh, play just a little bit. Just make sure he's getting a lot of drones, making up a lot of money. And he's just not doing a whole lot different. Now Volt on the other hand, just now starting to get his gas. He still doesn't have an orbital command. needs to get that a little bit earlier to be really successful. But um, you know, he's able to get up to that one gas, and he's making Marines three at a time. And he's got that supply overhead. It looks like he's actually applying some early pressure. So we'll see how uh, we'll see how Crimson Shade responds to this. We see two spine crawlers being thrown down. We see a queen trying to target. Volta doing a little bit of micromanagement, trying to take the weakened Marine and running it back. Uh, looks like he's trying to get it out there, and he's focus firing down one of, full, one of the spine crawlers, and looks like he changed targets, trying to take them both down at the same time. The queens are able to take down one marine without too many issues. One of the spine crawlers gets completely taken out, but the other one comes down to 19 HP and is able to rack up three kills. So it looked like Volta was trying to apply some early pressure and um, trying to do some cute stuff with making sure that he was trying to take them down both at the same time. So. Volta was un, uh, wasn't able to do a whole lot. Was able to bring a queen down and cancel one spine. Also, looking like he's doing a little bit more damage. Looks like we're adding another barracks back at home. Uh, but Crimson Chain, you know what? He's not gonna he's not gonna make any links. You don't need to make any links for six minutes and forty five seconds of the game. Just make some spine crawlers and some queens. 
and four overlords that are about to pop out. Yeah, buddy. Following that up with seven drones. Mmm, that's so good. So Volta adding on the secondary uh, refinery and adding some different, um, adding on additional uh, supply depots. So he's not doing too much, but um, we don't see any kind of being spent on gas anywhere. We don't see a factory. We don't see uh, any kind of tech labs or anything quite, uh, quite like that yet. So um, I wonder where this is going. Let's we'll keep an eye on that. So it looks like a factory actually being set up down here. And Crimson Shade has absolutely no idea this is going on. So seeing how he responds to it, he's getting a Roach Warren uh, with no gas. You know, I think that having gas is pretty important to have that Roach Warren down. Um, and he's actually getting a third hatchery just for as a macro. And it looks like that Volta is being really interesting. And you know what? Instead of having reinforcement time and screw defenders advantage, right? He, if he wants to build the units, he wants to build the units right in front of his base. And at 8 minutes and 27 seconds, Crimson Shade has no idea except for the corners of the base as to what's going on. Perfect block around the entire place. Going up to about 1,300 minerals and not being able to spend his money. And that barracks has finally landed. We see a Ford Engineering Bay actually being placed down by Volta as well. We see some bunkers actually being started. Up, oh, up. Oh. So we're actually seeing... Uh, let's go to Crimson Shades View just to see kind of when he realizes it. So he actually is just now starting to build slow zerglings. They don't have speed yet. But he's creeping and trying to build that. And he sees a lot of marines and even a bunker actually being laid down. Uh, setting up that spine crawler to actually move just a little bit more forward. So his third hatchery just coming online. We see six roaches on the way. And we do see an additional spine being put down. And Volta really wants to make sure that Crimson does not get out of his base see a second spine crawler actually on the way. And we see some marines actually being rolled in. So Crimson Shade actually pushing in and... What? He actually sees a turret right here? He... There's a turret. And lo and behold, there is a command center actually being set up at Crimson Shade's third. So we see some roaches actually pushed out. Uh, they weren't able to get anything too much done. That bunker is getting very, very low. It has one HP and it gets salvaged just in time. We see a lot of Marines. We actually see a Siege Tanks actually sieging up. Being able to do some damage on those Roaches. Uh, the Roaches are going in, but they're having a little bit of indecision. They don't know whether they want to push forward or not. But we see Ed Volta. You know, he's starting to saturate Crimson Shades third. I see this being a really interesting strategy going forward, you know. They're just, hey, you want to deny your Zerg's third base? Just, just freaking expand to it, man. That's, that's the best way to do it. We see some additional turrets being thrown down. Uh, Crimson Shade throwing down a creep tumor to actually get some uh, vision across the place. The Volta doesn't have any kind of vision up here quite yet. Uh, we see some roaches that are running to their death, and we see a queen actually being actually targeting down one of the siege tanks. And he finally got an orbital, so he's able to scan up there, deny that creep tumor, and deny some uh, additional uh, Zerg reinforcements and Zerg information. We see uh, Volta actually using or losing these missile turrets. Not really getting a whole lot of good use out of them, but uh, Volta's pushing in. The roaches on the high ground take out that one siege tank without any kind of issue. Volta moving up with the second siege tank. And Volta with an error in the push. If he didn't push up so far, he might have been able to hold it, but we see a factory and two reactor barracks moving up and after holding out for so long, just now having enough stuff to be able to push it out. You know, this base actually has about seven SCVs to it, and when's the last time you've seen the load command? So that command center is saying, peace, I'm out of here. And we're seeing uh, the barracks and the factory just loading up and going home. And that 13 and a half, you know, 13 minute or so metabolic boost, that transition. So we see some roaches and lings actually being able to hold it out in the supply difference. Crimson Shades at 70. Our boy Volta is at 36. Volta decides the best thing to do would be to go ahead and wall up and build another factory at home. That way he can build some... He could build some siege tanks in time. 
We see some lings running up with 13 more roaches on the way. We see a lot of SCVs being pulled. They're going to repair that supply depot to make sure that doesn't go down. But the supply depot down to 196 health, down to 152. And it aggressively goes down with the roach reinforcements from the low ground. The lings start streaming in. The command center is saying, hi, honey, I'm home. Who let the roaches and lings in? Looks like there's a lot of cleanup that, you know, Mama or Papa Papa Center is going to have to do. Calling down a mule just to make sure that he continues to mine out the minerals that are right here. And Volta taps out with a GG. So that was an interesting game, so to say. You know, it's not every day that you expand to your opponent's third to be able to deny them having a third. And I think Volta was successful in that. Just his push was just a little too far. So this is Project StarCraft coming at you with a, a live cast. Uh, if you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks.